Movement is an architectural medium. Movements of limbs, of lips, of entire bodies and populations describe space and inscribe themselves in time. Yet movement is inherently ephemeral, and we must take care to register it. Look at your left palm. Notice your lifeline, its curve and depth. If you are standing, shift your weight to your left leg. Using your right big toe, trace your lifeline along the ground. We are forgetting how to move and be moved, how to leap, balance, gasp, crawl. Too often we are asked to leave our bodies inert, alone and inside, deprived of connection with other living matter. Place your right hand on the front of your left thigh. Does your left earlobe feel any different? We must resist this forcing of ourselves into environments increasingly unfit for human inhabitation by taking refuge in our collected pulsing bodies. Without changing your facial expression or making a sound, try to laugh. Do you feel lighter or heavier? We must revel in our own kinetics and relish our ephemeral creations. We must build our own ever-shifting architectural surround. The architectural surround is the melding of user and setting, structure and nature, static and kinetic material. Turn around. What was behind you that you did not notice before? These elements intertwine to create more than their sum. When our individual bodies step out and into the world, we enter into a constant feedback loop of ourselves and our environment. Close your eyes. With your fingertips, trace your eyebrows. How are they different? Each act of breath, of sound, of movement, of heat exchange connects and augments one body and those around it. Our architecture is made of and for bodies. Lift your left foot off the ground. See if you can hold it there for 10 seconds while watching the next video clip. Bodies engage with other bodies in the making of a larger body, in a word, architecture. Our architectural surround is constantly being reauthored by us, the inhabitants. Imagine using your belly button to describe your favorite room in your home. Try to do it. Our architecture is not beholden to static weighty materials. Ours is a dynamic architecture of light and warmth. It can be quick or slow, sharp or smooth. Take the next 15 seconds and walk in any direction. Where do you go? It leaves indelible traces that pile up in corners and adhere to walls. It carves new paths and uncovers old ones. It sculpts and molds on timescales of seconds as well as decades. It salvages forgotten spaces, expands and contracts in order to fill up and slip through. Take another 15 second walk. Stop at a point in space, a corner, a floor tile, the gap between two columns that you have never inhabited before. Ours is an architecture that lives and bears witness to life. Ours is an architecture that dances.